What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm going to do another episode that's a roughly half an hour long. I got such a good reaction from it that I'm going to do it again. This time around we're facing 17th ranked Utah, and hopefully we can put them away like we did to Nebraska. So let's get this game started. Alright, so I'm, I always start off by saying alright, don't I? Was that a glitch? Alright, so I always, uh, wow, I just repeated exactly what I said. Hey look, it's Bonner. Lol, 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 lol. But, um... I'm pretty excited for this year's sports lineup. I know I kind of touched on this in my previous videos, but uh, I was just playing the NHL demo today, and if you guys watched that video, yeah, I'm a total noob when it comes to NHL, but um, I think it's funny. I guess it makes for kind of funny commentary, but um, I say but I'm a lot too. When Madden comes out, it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm going to be importing my guys. I don't know. I'm kind of wanting to do i kind of want to do a uh a dynasty now we'll see how that goes because you know how my arizona state one went i still haven't made the fifth game yet uh, i'll get on that eventually i promise and my 2k video should be out today i mean i was working on it before i went out to dinner and then i came home from dinner and all i wanted to do was record so hopefully when i have some downtime i'll jump right back on that editing i'm about halfway done so, uh, I should have passed that to A. Wow. Right into his hands. Perfect. The perfect pass to the other team. And, of course, they go down the field and score. So, that's not exactly how I want to start off. One of two and an interception. One of two with an interception. No good. Sometimes I feel like I talk way too fast. And that's why I mess up my words. And a lot of you, or I know some of you, were like, you know, you should really stay in the pocket because you're dropping like 10 billion feet back and that's probably why you keep getting sacked or all that good stuff. Well, it's a really bad habit of mine. I've been doing this since I started playing Madden like years and years and years ago. I can't get out of the habit and I was just in practice mode or I was not practice mode but I was doing my practice before this game. And I was trying to stay in the pocket, and I just get sacked faster than before. So, I'm just going to keep doing my thing. Sure, there is some serious repercussions, like I'll get sacked for 15 yards, but I think it's definitely worth it. And yes, sometimes the blockers will shed off faster than they will when you're in the pocket. Um, but, I think it's all worth it. It's all for the greater good. I always keep saying the greater good. I think it's from, if you guys ever seen the movie uh, Hot Fuzz, they always keep saying the greater good. And every time I say the greater good, I think of that movie. So it's pretty funny. I don't know why we're running it on second and 13, but I'm going to trust my coach. Even though I shouldn't, he should be trusting me. Even though I just threw an interception. I've been playing NCAA for years now. He's been coaching my virtual blue, 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 blue. My virtual Bruins team for what a couple weeks now I mean it's only oh god it's only safe to say that I'm more qualified than him except for when I just drop back and you know step back to uh, get some momentum on my throw and I get sacked don't even know what I'm saying so a topic that well something that I wish you could do in Road to Glory that I wish you could do in the next NCAA is you know how they added the custom conferences, or like you can edit the conferences at the end of the season? How come they don't do that for Road to Glory? I thought I was going to be able to, you know, get past the line of scrimmage with my guys helping me out. No, we're not going to run the ball here. But yeah, I wish you could change the conferences in Road to Glory. So, you know, I could put TCU in the Big East and all that good stuff. I'm going to scramble here, and I'm probably going to regret it. I already regret this. Unless I give it to X. Wow. That was a horrible throw. Horrible sequence of events, but we got the first down. It's no big deal. But, alright, so, who else is transferring conferences? I know TCU is going to the Big East. Isn't Boise State going somewhere? I honestly feel like Boise is going somewhere. Nice catch. And those are the only two th teams that I can think of off the top of my head. Alright, these are really bad plays, but we'll go with it. At least we're only down by seven. Halfway through the second. Well, not even halfway through the second. Beginning of the second. And I want to get through these. 
Uh, Machinima actually just took my wide receiver file out of my Dropbox. So after I record this, I'm going to render it out. And while it's rendering out, I'll probably be playing some Halo with my friends. And I just got injured, didn't I? We better get a touchdown there. Who? What? How did that touchdown happen? I want to know. Right now. The backup? One of one? Oh, yeah. Our running back ran it in. So, yeah. I got to select my college, which I know where I'm going. I'm not going to tell you um, because that's going to spoil the video. Well, not really. And I need to figure out, since I want to get through the season, I'm probably just going to show them my first game, or show you guys, them, you guys, both of you guys, the first game, because I'm sure no one really wants to see the practices. I mean, I know people like the practices, but if I'm trying to get through the season as fast as possible, I don't think it's the best idea to be showing practices. And I don't know why we're not throwing it here. But I really hope the school that I go to, I can pick the number I want to be because it means something. And you'll find out why and what it means, even though it's not a wide receiver number. It's definitely not a wide receiver. It's more like a running back number. I'm going to outrun this guy, and we're going to get a holding call. Perfect. Good job. And then I'm going to get negative points for loss of yards, which wasn't even my fault. Watch this. Yep, negative 10 yards gained. That's... This game has little glitches, little bugs going on. They should really... You know what would be cool to see in the future? Uh, that not happening. No, but in the future, they should really... Um, I don't know, like... this is. I'm just kind of just saying things on my mind right now. So, you know how games... They get advertised a lot nowadays from YouTube. Good pass. I was thinking... You know how a lot of games have bugs and glitches. Why don't they, like, say EA Sports. I know EA Sports will, like, never do this because they're a big company and they're selfish and greedy. And they rehash the same games every year and add, like, one new feature. Sorry, EA. I don't think you're watching this, so I don't really care. Um, they, sh like, certain game developers, they should hand off. Actually, no, this is a bad idea. But I'll finish what I was trying to say. They should give games to, like, certain, you know, I don't know, media or youtubers media i don't know like really early help them in the testing process because whatever game testers they have they need new ones because for example that negative 10 anyone could have found that i don't know why game testers like never found that like negative 10 for a holding call like i don't know there's certain things about this game that is very glitchy and i don't know why no one's ever found them I'm not complaining about my throw accuracy, because some people said it might have to do with my throw power, which I believe you guys, but stuff like that, why did my wide receiver just stop? Um, I don't know, there's like, I never really realized all these bugs and glitches until I started my YouTube channel, 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 um, which is kind of funny, because I don't know, I don't know why it's happening now that I have a channel. I, I still need to learn how to pronounce that word without so like you guys don't make fun of me. I'm not giving that to the running back. So I'm just gonna throw a wimpy little pass down the middle of the field. I'm having a horrible game. And I think it's funny when guys just troll on my videos like you suck. That's all they say. They don't even back up why I suck. You know, if they said you suck because you're doing this wrong, I'd be like, okay, you have a valid point. Wow. Nice. Like if if they said, Hey Blinkfro, you suck at this game because you're not aware of everyone on the field. Which I'm telling you right now, it's a little hard for, to do. It's a little hard for me to do. I'm getting better at trying to look at all my receivers at the same time. I'd be like, alright, you got a valid point. You know, good job. You said I suck. I don't care. At least you backed it up. But some people just say, you suck. Or, I'm better than you. Which is like, what? Really? I don't care if you're better than me or not. Like, I'm enjoying playing this game. And shouldn't that really be all that matters? If you enjoy playing a video game, who cares what your skill level is? Like, I... Or who cares what your knowledge is? Like, for example, I enjoy... Okay, I'm screwed. I enjoy playing NHL games. I enjoy playing FIFA games. I know next to nothing about the sports, players, teams. But I enjoy playing the games. And it's I'm terrible at FIFA, for one. I, I think I'm a, a little bit decent at NHL. 
But does it really matter if I'm bad? Because I have a lot of fun with it. And eventually I'll get better. I don't know why I'm going on to this rant. I should really be focusing on this game. Because I know I can win this game. But I don't know what's going on. Like, B's wide open. Thank you. Of course he catches it out of bounds. Awesome. I know if I scrambled it, someone would have left in the comments. Like, yo, B was... If you look at, um, you know, 11.52, B was wide open. SMH. It's like, yes. But I can't go back in time and, you know, fix that. What was I saying? I feel like I was about to say something and then I stopped myself. I don't even know. Don't even know. I kind of wanted to say, I've watched other people play this game, and either they're playing on a lower difficulty than I am, or something's up. Like, it seems like other people, on other people's YouTubes, it is incredibly easy for them to uh, get touchdowns and all that good stuff. And I just look at it, and I'm like, what? How am I having, why am I struggling, and these people are just walking over the... The teams. It's not just like one person. It's like almost all of the Road to Glory series I've seen. It's just everyone's just walking over teams, and I don't quite understand why. All right, something's going down right now. I'm having a horrible game. I guess this is why Utah is ranked and we're not, because we can't get our stuff together. I can't complete passes. I'm throwing passes to the other team, and. Coach is not making good calls. And that guy really should have blocked that defender because maybe, you know, our running back would have been able to take it to the house. We're calling running plays when we're down by uh, 17 points, which, I mean, realistically, we're not going to win. But I guess Coach just gave up. I need to stop doing that. So, yeah, we lost 24-7. to I know you guys are going to be like, oh, you terrible at this game. Don't live commentate while you're playing because you suck. And I don't care. So I'm just going to cut to my stats. Wow, this is worse than I thought. 7 of 20, 101 yards. One interception and... Anything else of importance? Negative 9 rushing yards. Which is probably from getting sacked like twice. So let's hop into the second game. This is going to be rough. <laughs> After just playing Utah. That was Utah, right? Um, now we're playing Stanford. And somehow they're ranked really high, even without Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck? Yeah, I believe his name is Andrew. So, I originally said I wanted our team to finish 8-4. and four, And in order to do that, we can only lose one game. This might be the one game that's going to be tough. Actually, we probably still have a, a bunch of other hard teams like USC and stuff. Actually, we still do have to face USC. But if we can come away with the win here, that will be pretty epic. I'm going to pass the LB because he's wide open, but then, you know, all the defenders just rush in by the time I throw the ball. And coach wants to run it, so we're running it. I probably should have picked a better team. I probably should have listened to you guys. I went to LSU, but I enjoy this. I mean, even on LSU would be hard because we're going to face harder teams. So it's really no difference. But I had to pick UCLA. They're my favorite team. My favorite college football team. Watch. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. I was going to hit the guy right in the helmet. <laughs> good way to start off. 0-2. I think the only one good game I had was whatever team I faced after the FCS team. Oh, yeah. Against Arizona State. When I was just ripping face and I had like 10 straight completed passes. All right. We'll do a slip screen with 8 yards to go. Another good choice, coach. Another good choice. Watch. And if they're doing man... Which, luckily, they're not. Oh, I'm so glad he spun there because our blockers cannot block for crap. Maybe I'm a little too harsh on game developers because I don't know how hard it is to write code and all that stuff. I will learn one day because that's what I'm basically majoring in. But, come on. Like, you can ha let the AI block there. This is why I wish EA had some com like competition in any sports game. I just re I just today, yesterday for you guys, I just found out that uh, 2K stopped making hockey games, and I was like, what? Really? Is it like how is EA not a monopoly? If like I guess the government or I don't know whoever decides the rulings on video games. 
they don't recognize EA Sports as being a monopoly. How is that fair? How are they going to let them buy out, like, the NFL license and say, and, and like, you know, everyone be fine with, oh, okay, we'll, we'll let you be the only game developing company to make football games, and er, NFL football games, yeah, because that's right. You know, we'll stop companies from being a monopoly, but uh, for video games, it really doesn't matter. Because we don't care about video game people. Like, video gamers, and I think that's what it comes down to. They probably don't care about, like, people that play video games. They're like, oh, we'll let them make their own games. Not like I play video games. It's not affecting me. But, like, how are how's EA getting away with this? Like, there's no rivaling NFL, NCAA... Um, NHL, there's no rivaling games, which is like, oh yeah, and then they stopped making college basketball, but I think college basketball, I think that's something else, but how are they allowing EA to do this? It's, it's really frustrating, because I was reading, like, the NHL forums, like, because I, I was wondering if the Ultimate Team and the demo carried over, which I found out it doesn't from playing it, oh, look at this, an option play. Almost in the red zone. You remember what happened last time. Let's try it again. Let me focus here. Okay. Alright, I was trying to option it to the guy, but it wasn't working. Yeah, we'll just run a running play when we're on the one-yard line, third and 15. No big deal. If he gets stopped, they're only going to get two points here. Good call. But luckily, we got past the line of scrimmage. Um. So yeah, I was reading the NHL forums, and uh, why do we keep running it? I guess because it's almost the end of the half, but people were complaining like, you know, this game's kind of just like the last couple years of NHL, and people in Madden, they all say the same thing, because there's no competition, so EA can basically recycle the same game because there is no competition, No, oh, look at that, finally a good pass, and yeah, they can get away with it, because people are going to keep wanting you know, Madden to play as, you know, their favorite guys, like, oh, I want to be Andy Dalton this year, I want to be AJ Green, and the only way to get that, really, like, with their picture in the game, is to buy the new game, and I, that's basically the, uh, you know, the coy, whatever you want to call it, I, I had the word in my head just a second ago, but that's what EA basically has, like, oh, well, you know, if you don't buy our new game, you can't get the new players. But then they're like, well, now that we know everyone's going to buy our game, we don't really have to change anything. We don't need to even, we don't even need to work that hard. And honestly, if I was a game developer, I would want my game to be perfect. I would want this game to be the best. And I don't understand how EA's game developers aren't like, you know what, we should really make this game more realistic, but we're not. Why are they like that? I, I'm sorry I'm just rambling on about this, but this has been bothering me forever. And, you know, like I said, I just found out, like, the NHL side of it this morning. Yesterday morning for you guys, and I don't know. How do you guys feel about EA Sports? I really... They make the games, which is good. The games! <laughs> sorry. Uh, if you guys watch a theme, then you would know what that's from. The games. I always, I always quote a theme for some reason when I'm with my friend. A lot. I don't. I don't know what it is, but we always quote Athene, and it's so funny. But yeah, the only reason I like EA Sports is because yeah, they make NFL game, they make an NCAA game, but I hate them so much because they don't improve their game ever. This is going to be an interception. Thankfully, they swatted it down. So how do you guys feel about EA Sports? I guess that's the you know the number one question of this half an hour commentary if you if you even got to this point which i'm starting to learn that people do watch my videos to the end uh, i don't know how many people do but i know at least some of the people that comment do and it's it actually feels really good which i always wondered that I, I always say to myself is anyone actually still watching this at this point in the video what what is this flag this better not be holding let me see like, when I first started out, I was like, do people actually watch my videos all the way through? And it's good to know that people do. I mean, they should if, I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I feel like I was going to say something again. Oh, yeah, let's just run it again. 3rd and 15, almost in the red zone. End zone. 
Um, there was definitely something I was going to say, and then I don't remember what I was going to say. This happens a lot. I, my mind's just completely blank, and I feel like I just lost train of thought for this entire commentary. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I think I was going to say something about... How come more people don't comment on videos? Like, I'll admit, when I first started watching YouTube videos for, you know, the first year, I never really commented on videos. But I don't know, I, I'm just wondering, like, why don't people comment? Like, like for example, say someone has, like, 100 subscribers, like, and only two people are actively commenting every video. Like, I don't think you guys realize... Like, I do read all of the comments, and I love all the comments, except even some of the trolly ones. Some of the trolly comments I do laugh at, like the you suck, because it's kind of funny. It kind of aggravates me, but overall, I think it's pretty funny. And I don't know, like, if, if anyone's watching this, and you've never, I'm sure, yeah, obviously there's going to be people watching this that have never commented on any one of my videos. If you can just leave a comment here, like I said before, if you're still somehow watching this, if you can leave a comment, that would make me so happy. Because, yeah, I do read all the comments. The comments make me very happy. Even the trolly ones. So, yeah, if, if you've never left a comment before, please leave one, because I like getting as much feedback as I possibly can. And I'm actually having a better game now against Stanford than Utah, which is really nice. I should probably focus a little bit, because this is like, you know, crunch time, baby. And uh, I need to clutch up and give it to A so he can waltz into the end zone. Or just dive like that. Do not run the ball. No, we're going to run... Yeah, we're going to run this, and then luckily I can option... Or I can hot route everyone to another... Alright, that looks good enough. Good enough to me. Alright, now I'm just screwing with things. Like, A is going to be open, because I audibled it, hot-routed him. And now we can actually come away with the win. If we make the field goal. I have to watch the field goal. Because I don't want him to, uh... I don't want him to screw up the field goal. Come on. 20 to 13. Perfect. And... Do you guys think we can get ranked if we win out the rest of our games? Like, if we finish 9 and 3... Will we be ranked? I think we'll be ranked. Yeah, because the Pac-10, Pac-12, sorry. Good good pass. Good effort, wide receiver. Pac-12 is actually a tough conference. So I think we should be ranked if we finish out with wins. But the problem is finishing out with wins, because you know me. Dinky passes are my bread and butter. I don't know. I'm always scared to throw it deep, because I just assume I'm going to get picked off. That's why when I see other YouTubers, like... In their videos, they they can throw like half their highlight plays are hail marys, and I'm like, how you guys keep throwing hail marys? And it's always, I don't know, <laughs> I, it just puzzles me, and I hate these curl routes. I'll send X to goal line, whatever. Oh, Y's wide open. I think I might as well give it to him and pick up the first down. And continue to chew down the clock with passing plays. I don't quite understand why with passing plays. And I think we're actually going to come away with the win here. Beating Stanford. So, in our beating ranked opponents. Which, yeah, you have to feel pretty good about taking down a ranked opponent. We took out Nebraska, which I believe were ranked 22. And now we're going to take out Stanford, who's ranked number 9. I mean, sure, we lost our last game, but we're beating ranked teams. And that's really what it should be about sorry I was like I was in my head I was like writing out the rest of that play like in my head I was trying to like figure out what would happen if I kept running and I honestly thought he was going to catch up to me and it was going to be a bad play I love that stuff right there that's the stuff no I don't want to skip ahead oh yes we're gonna win here um, should I just wrap, I feel like I should just wrap it up here because it's just going to be us running the ball. And then they're going to take a timeout here, and then we're going to QB kneel it or something like that. Or we'll just run it again, I don't really understand why. If we're not pass, if we're not calling good running plays to set us up for a first down, why call running plays at all? Alright, 
I'll chew down the cloth a little bit here. But, um, like, I really want to wrap up my video. I keep wanting to wrap up... What? Uh, I keep... Sorry, I was reading a text, and it was just, like, gibberish. I always want to wrap up my videos here, because the game's over, but then I remember that I have to show you guys the stats. So we'll wait till there's about three seconds left. We'll hike the ball, and we'll give it to Mr. Smith, Will Smith. Actually, I lied about that three-second thing. Hopefully, he can pick up a first down. No. All right, well, we'll kick the field goal here. And that should set us up with the win. Please just kick it so I don't have to watch this. Good. Even though, realistically, they should have waited. So, yeah, we're up 23-13. to 13. If I sim it, yep, we're going to come away with the win. And I'll show you the stats again. I think I was the player of the game, too. So, yeah, let me cut to the stats. Alright, so game two of this video, 13 of 22, 199 yards, two passing touchdowns, and 21 rushing yards. And for all of you guys that were thinking in your head, wow, you suck after I lost to uh, Utah, well, guess what? We just beat Stanford, so you suck. <laughs> so that's the end of this video. I'm going to render it out and then play some Call of Duty zombies and all that good stuff. If you want to see a zombies video, let me know. I know this is way off topic. But I have one recorded and it sucks and I want to do it over again. Um, let me know if you want to see zombies. But as always, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm, I guess I'm going to keep doing these half an hour things because you guys seem to like them. So thank you for watching.